enemies of the heart. This is day two. Ooh, fessing up. All right. Well, we've got 1 John 1, 5 through 10 to refer to. But what's going on with this on day two, Miss Andy? The first enemy of the heart is guilt. Ugh. Guilt is the result of having done something we perceive as wrong. The message from a heart laden with guilt is, I owe. Consider the man who runs off with another woman and abandons his family. Ooh, a lot of people know this one. Yeah. Without realizing at the time, he has stolen something from every member of his family. He has robbed his wife of her future, her financial security, and her reputation as a wife. From his children's perspective, this man has stolen their Christmas, traditions, emotional and financial security, dinners with the family, and so on. Now, the man who did all this doesn't think in terms of what he has taken. Initially, he thinks in terms of what he has gained, but the first time his little girl asks him why he doesn't love mommy anymore, his heart is stirred. He now feels guilty. Dad owes. <sighs> Nothing less than paying that debt will relieve a guilty heart of its burden of guilt. People try to work it off, serve it off, give it off, and even pray it off. But no amount of good deeds, community service, charitable giving, or Sundays in a pew can relieve the guilt. It's a debt. And it must be paid or canceled for a guilty heart to experience relief. How do you get your guilt canceled? The answer comes in one of the first Bible verses I memorized as a child. 1 John 1.9 if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Confession has the power to break the cycle of sin. And like most medicinal remedies, it works when applied properly. Proper application happens when we confess our sins, not just to God, but also to the people we've sinned against. Mm. Guilty people are usually repeat offenders. And as long as you're carrying a secret, as long as you're trying to ease your conscience by telling God how sorry you are, you're setting yourself up to repeat the past. However, if you start confessing your sins to the people you've sinned against, odds are that you're not going to go back and commit those sins again. Confess both to God and others, and you will slay this enemy of your heart. Hmm, that's one of the steps of AA, isn't it? Confessing to those you've hurt. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Making it right. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. Uh, let's read this verse now. 1 John 1, 5 through 10. This is the message we have heard from him and declared to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar and his word is not in us. So what are you feeling guilty for? Confess your sin to God and to whomever you have hurt and do it today. Mm. Mmm, it is time to stand up, pull out that sword, and slay that enemy of the heart. This was a good lesson, yes. but it takes brutal honesty, brutal honesty with yourself and those around you. Yeah, I like what Tom McDonald says. He says uh, his favorite verse is James 5.16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Mm-hmm. So let's pray. Let's about pray. That. Exactly. Oh, Lord, thank you for this power. 
Thank you for the ability to slay our enemies, to slay the enemy of our heart, and to purify our heart with your help, Lord. Thank you for this lesson. Thank you for giving us the gift of confession, allowing us that if, in your holy scripture, telling us that if we confess our sin, we will be forgiven. Mm. Oh, Lord, thank, thank you so you. much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.